G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. I've just come across this video and thought it might be an interesting one to watch. It's a video titled Stay Single, Don't Be Fooled. And this is by a YouTuber called sosa Too real um, So please go and check his channel out, like, comment, subscribe if you've enjoyed it. I'll put the original link to the video in the description. Let's get into it. The topic is stay single, don't be fooled. So recently I just wanted to dibble and dabble and see if things maybe have changed in the dating world and they haven't. So basically, I downloaded one of these dating apps, I'm not gonna say which one, and I also entertained a post conversation that I had with a girl on Instagram. So two different scenarios. So scenario number one, let's go with Instagram. So I posted a picture, a gym selfie. I haven't posted a selfie in a long time, so a girl commented, we started chopping it up, talking, and uh, things were going really good, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, we, you know, we started having deep conversations, and I'm just like, oh, wow, this girl, you know, she's she's really good looking. You know, I started, like, really looking at her Instagram page, and I'm like, man. She Spending way too much talking to girls, like, it gives them every opportunity to change their mind on you, giving them too much attention straight away. Um, we've all done this, or every guy has done this and made this mistake before. You're too available, um, telling them too much about yourself. You know, there's no thrill. You're not giving them any excitement, and that's why a lot of them do drop off, and a lot of guys get really frustrated because it's counterintuitive, isn't it? You think, hey, if someone's being nice to me and showing me a lot of attention and talking to me and building, um, you know, conversations and rapport with me, I like that as a man, right? That's good. That's good, like it makes you want to speak to them more, it makes you like them, it makes you start, you know, thinking that you might have something going on. But for a lot of women, they get bored. I guess just they, they'll use you as you hit, a hit for um, uh, validation, they use you as a hit for um, attention, they might be bored. A lot of girls use dating apps, Instagram and all that to chat to random dudes because they're bored, they just like the attention of it, they just like talking with no real intention of meeting guys. I reckon that's probably something that's going to happen here. And that's sort of the vibe I'm getting from his, uh, the points that he's making. She's bad, right? And I just, you know, didn't think too much of it. So I started asking her questions like, oh, what did she do? So when she said she was a traveling nurse, I was like, okay, red flag number one. Because uh, nurses are notoriously yep. known for being single right they can't find being single not being single like a lot of them have partners and they're out there just getting reamed by doctors like all sorts of stuff going on um i don't know what it is um i've had experiences with women off dating apps many many of them have been nurses and they are the filthiest i don't know what sort of um uh, you know personalities that vocation um attracts um, I'm not saying it's all nurses because people go, oh, G man, oh, you won't be saying that about nurses when you're bleeding in the emergency room. I'm not saying all nurses. I'm saying the ones that are on dating apps and the ones that we come across with monster hunting. Um, a lot of them are either married, um, have boyfriends they live with, or just boyfriends, and they're out just banging dudes because they can't keep the um, the legs shut. They just love it, love action, love attention. It just draws those personalities. It's like it obviously sounding like it's a global phenomenon. Find a partner traveling nurse at that man she's got more bodies than a stewardess uh you know <laughs> flight attendants so they're also uh notoriously known for sleeping around as well that's a another video for another topic spot on but so i started getting to know her started talking to her and she's like oh i'm a god-fearing woman and oh yeah you know i love god and i'm you know i'm looking for a god-fearing man and she just started you know hitting on all cylinders I'm just like, wow, this girl might be a diamond in the rough, right? Come to find out, you know, that as time progressed and the conversations was going, I started like, okay, well, let me let me see. Let me test the waters. So I, I was like, so what are your deal breakers? What are your turn on, your turns off? What do you look for in a partner? And, you know, at first she, she tried to keep it humble, you know, because, you know, she was basically mentioning to me that, you know, I come from humble beginnings immigrant parents and i'm like okay me too you know uh, we have a lot in common right there you know her parents are from the caribbean so i was like oh, okay okay and um uh, she started mentioning what kind of guy she's looking for and she's like oh i want him to be respectful you know i want him to smell good i want him to have nice teeth so i'm like okay that sounds like me and then she started mentioning all the materialistic superficial bullshit, right that it came out 
And when she started mentioning 200K a year, he's got to look like this, he's got to look like that. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, man. Dude, big mistake. You're speaking to attractive looking women on Instagram. Like, that's where they go. That's where the vapid types are. And that's where the, the losers with heaps of money will also go and try and um, hit their DMs, you know? I think it's the good. I think they're big dog Mac daddies, you know, who lead with the wallet. Don't let it be you. But guy, this guy's obviously learning. Um, Instagram's a cesspool of people that are overly materialistic, um, men and women, right? And they project lives that they don't even live. And they compare their lives against the lifestyles of other people um, that post bullshit on there. And so it's more or less just a cock measuring contest all around, especially uh, for women. So women think that then all these guys are going to come and provide them a life that they probably see other women getting off other guys who are probably just paid only cans girls or something like that. And I'm over here thinking this is a Christian girl. This is a good girl, right? So that's what I'm saying. Don't be fooled just because a girl tells you, oh, I, I'm a strong believer in God. I go to <laughs> church. I'm a Christian woman. I'm looking for a Christian man. At the end of the day, the modern woman mentality doesn't fail. It, Never it, believe what women say at all or I'm, until otherwise validated. I'm not going to say all oh, women lie and all that sort of thing. You just get certain types that are on these dating apps that are on these platforms that are still single. Like why are they still there? Because either they're not a good match for a guy, they either have too high standards or no guy wants them. They, they, they get with them and then realize, oh, hang on, too much work. don't want to deal with this for the rest of my life type scenario. So throw them back into the pond, even if they are super attractive. But guys have this thing in their mind that believe everything that women say. My friend Larry, who I talk about all the time, he believes everything women tell him about their past and their ex-partners. He tells me all about it. I caught up with him the other night. I always go for walks with Larry like once or twice a week. We'll catch up. We'll go for a good walk for a couple of hours and he'll dump all his shit on me and, you know, about women and his dating and all that sort of thing, you know, and we talk through it. I try to give him a, uh, a look at things, you know, from my angle and all that. He never takes anything I say on anyway. But everything I ever say that's going to happen always happens. Uh, I'm going to say it's 99% accuracy and he admits it after. <laughs> But he'll never listen to me because he's known me for too long, right? I'm just his mate. Like I'm not someone um, that other people might potentially listen to and can resonate with, and he doesn't see me that way. Anyway, he always tells me about women, right? Oh, she said this about her ex-boyfriend. Her ex-boyfriend was, uh, you know, was a violent guy and was aggressive and uh, was a big drinker and uh, used narcotics and all this sort of thing. And I'm like, yeah, but how do you know that? Like, like, how do you know that? He goes, well, that's why she's single, you know? She's gotten with a few guys, and they they all turned out to be really horrible. I'm like, no, that's like every single chick says that on a dating app, uh, Larry. Oh, no, no, she said that. Like, why, why would she make that up? So anyway, some guys just don't learn. Um, they've been raised that, you know, women are sugar and spice and all things nice. He's been punched in the head a good few times. Uh, Larry was, if you don't know about Larry, you're new to the channel. Uh, Larry was married, divorced, they were married for 20 years, had a shocking divorce, wife cheated on him, lost everything in divorce. He's been subsequently dating on dating apps and all that sort of shit for the last two or three years or whatever. Had the worst experience. He put put an F for Larry in the comments, guys, yeah, if you guys have heard all the stories I've told about him. Or if even you. Put an F in respects for our fallen comment, Larry. He'll never learn, all right? But he goes on there, he gets punched in the face over and over again, and he comes to all these realizations. He goes, oh, gee, man, oh, this happened. Oh, learn. I'm like, I've been fucking telling you that for three years, mate, five years, 10 years, whatever I've been telling, how long have I been telling him it? He has to find out himself, though, because like, men won't listen. This is probably like this dude, you know, he looks like he's pretty well put together, um, like clean, uh, nice looking bloke, um, but, you know, probably has the fallacy that you, you believe women and what they have to say at face value. And then when things don't line up, they start going, oh, what? Women are lying. That's bullshit. It just takes over her. It just takes over her. And there's nothing that you can possibly do. Because at the end of the day, these women, these modern women have been so corrupt with their mentality that it's a fantasy world. And in order for you to thrive in their universe you have to play the fantasy character <laughs> and i don't know about you but i don't want to be a i don't want to be a character in a fantasy land this isn't cosplay you know and that's what they're looking for is a fantasy man that does not exist and them sleeping around with all these guys they like they take a little bit from this guy a little bit from Spot that on. guy and they want to build a band like a build a bear it's just about to say and that. that's what they're trying to do and they will, they will never succeed because it's impossible so scenario number two 
the girl that I met on a dating app. I, now I know dating apps are BS. I've been known that for the longest time, but you know, I just wanted to, you know, check it out. I was a little. Try your luck, you get bored, right? That's why I used to use them all the time too. Number one, I was good at it and I'll get action, but there are a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of bullshit, a lot of disappointment, a lot of flaking, a lot of wasted time. Um, but yeah, they're a boredom killer. It's a Sunday afternoon. It's a, you know, you're chilling out at home. You're lying on the couch or whatever. You've got nothing else to do. You crack the app open. You try and hunt some monster hunter slurries, all right? Nothing wrong with that. Basically, probably every guy does it. Every young single man, or not even young, every single man who's a bit bored jumps on, flicks around, tries their luck. Most end in frustration. All right, guys, look, before we get to these, the, the next story, halfway through the uh, uh, channel, uh, sorry, the video today, um, aiming for 10K subs. So, guys, if you're enjoying it, uh, please sub to the channel. And if you want to support me, please check out the Patreon link in the video description um, and, and pledge if you'd like to. Otherwise, just watch my videos through to the end. Let YouTube pay me, but I greatly appreciate uh, you guys sticking around and getting my view time up. It really helps me out. Cheers. Board, I wanted to have a little conversation. Maybe I'd get some more content for my videos. And lo and behold, I was correct. So I started talking to her. Everything was going perfect as well. Conversations were smooth as hell. You know, she was attractive. She wasn't as pretty as the Caribbean girl, but she was still attractive, you know. Um, so by, you know, without that, um, you know, we started talking and, and, but this girl, now she was the complete opposite as the other girl. She wasn't mentioning materialistic or superficial things no now this woman has a dip had a different modern day problem and that modern day problem is mental health mental stability because we were having awesome conversations we were on the same page about everything she kept saying oh my god you're you're so amazing i can't believe we think the same we think the same and this was going on for a couple of days like where we were just hitting on all cylinders uh, conversating and and having a lot of things in common and, and seeing eye to eye on a lot of things and the moment I said one controversial thing that she didn't like her whole mood turned off just like that that's why guys talking too much it's the old tale right it just really screws you around that's why I always um I tell my mate Larry and something I used to I did for a very long time is you say minimum tell them minimum about yourself because all you're doing is creating opportunities for them like this guy was saying just flip on you based on something you said generally um you know I'm not saying all women right but a lot of women um run in a hive mind they all have the same views on stuff so don't talk to politics and talk about Trump or some shit like that you're just gonna shoot yourself in the foot right that's just the reality of it they don't know why they don't like Trump or they don't know why they don't like something and why they like Kamala Harris or whatever. They just do because it's on uh, Facebook or it's on Instagram is that's what you should do, right? So you start going against that a little bit or say something or question it or challenge it. I'm just using an example. Politics can be anything. You know, it could be LGBT plus, transgender, whatever things that women advocate for heavily and you and you might challenge it. Well, that's the easiest way just to uh, shoot yourself in the foot, right? So that's another thing, guys. Tell them minimal about you. Women are fickle. They'll find any reason uh, a lot of the time to disqualify you and it could be just a differing opinion on something as humans none of us are the same we all have differing opinions i'm sure i have many differing opinions to a lot of you guys at home um but as men we generally can challenge each other and have conversations around it and try and um you know share our viewpoints when we don't do that that was cut you off go nuts another thing about the mental health in and i noticed that a lot too when i was on the dating apps a lot and dating a lot of women is many of them do have mental health issues that do uh, arise after uh, only a short period of time uh, i think especially during the covid um, area that's when i was using it a lot too and a lot of people did have uh, mental health across the board but i think when uh, women aren't built so much uh, or resilient as men especially when it comes to heavily uh, high stress factors in life it can even be with careers and jobs and you get women who are um, you know even corporates um, they have high powered jobs I want to say high powered high earning jobs I don't know about power but high earning um, and they almost crumble every day when they come home from work because they can't take the stress and pressure of it of being their own sole breadwinner but they're looking for someone at that age to get off and someone to, to take the load off them um, so to speak and a lot of them just have a lot of mental health problems they can't deal with general stresses of life that a man has to deal with every day all right, that's my two cents on that. Just like that, in the blink of an eye, she just turned from green to red, stop. And that's what she did. It was like, and the messages were, like we were like talking and I knew the vibes were starting to be uh, way off. 
she started taking way long to reply because uh mind you she was replying within milliseconds of every time i would send something and that's a, a good indication that a girl is really attracted to you or really feeling you is if she responds really fast if she responds really slow kick her to the curb and be on to the next Spot but on. anyways so she went from replying milliseconds to hours and when i knew that i knew dang all it took was one little um disagreement or one little thing she didn't like and boom mental stability out the window and it showed right then and there that it just took over the whole entire conversation and the whole did him a favor though a lot of these guys and a lot of guys do get and i've gotten frustrated in the past at this too how women can flip on you pretty quick and just drop kick you right to the street because there's so many other options out there you're just one of the you know the thousands of guys that are swiping on them every hour on a dating app or approaching them on the instagrams like there's an endless sea of men that are going to keep shooting their shots so they can um try and hang around and try and find mr perfect like he said mr builder bear who doesn't exist these women who have been pumped and dumped on dating apps uh, they want to put they want to get the, the best parts of all the different guys that have um you know dug their guts out um you know make a frankenstein james bond monster and uh in their mind that that a man has to adhere to for him to be the one all right the one the lucky one who has to put up with there but it's just the way that they operate a lot of the time and they also are highly traumatized by guys like bryce's steve-o's chad's tyrone's whatever you want to call them right in whatever country you're in um who are the top five percent or three percent of guys or whatever who would just have the options right they have the options they crush guts uh they break hearts along the way too um and these women complain and complain um that all men are like that right which we know is not true all righty let's keep going whole vibe so whether you're dealing with women that are superficial materialistic if that's not the modern woman the other side of the modern woman is the mental stability so even if you don't find a girl that is uh asking for all these materialistic things you're going to be looking for a girl uh and you're going to realize that she has mental stability issues that it is just as bad you know so if you think you found a diamond in the rough in today's mind in today's world i i think you've been fooled <laughs> Fool's gold is what I like to call it. Yeah. it they're, they are wolf in sheep's clothing. They, they will disguise themselves to be this perfect person or this uh, angel or this person that can do no wrong. See, now, you're not supposed to pass judgment on them, but the, they can pass judgment on you. Because the controversial thing that happened was she was telling me about her past and all the things that she was doing and and she was like don't judge me don't judge me don't judge me i'm like okay fine so you want me to be honest with you i'll, I'll be honest with you and because she was honest with me and but see i already knew this rule but she she broke my comfort levels because she was opening up to me so i'm like okay when she started asking me questions about you know how i, I if i was a player or you know like you know being intimate and stuff like that and i told her like yeah you know uh, at one point I was a player and I, I did have a rotation of girls because we were opening up and we were having that conversation. And the moment that I said that, that's when her whole thing changed. So <laughs> talking too much guys, talking to, I've, I've said this in uh, many of my different videos. I've learned this from experience too. You can have a chick that is just red hot on you, right? And you start telling them too much, start messaging them too much, start talking on the phone. You tell them about your ex-wife, your ex-girlfriend, what happened? Or they start asking you questions like this guy, what do you get up to in the dating apps? And you be honest about it, right? Because they're being honest about you. Don't tell them nothing. And if you do, it's always a backhanded joke. I always used to have, oh, like when I used to meet up with girls and I would say, oh, well, you must do or say this with every girl. And I say, yeah, I've done it with five girls this week. All right. And I'll say it as a joke, but, but it was true. <laughs> But you don't. You, you need to learn. You need to learn um, what works, what doesn't work, and that's how we, as men, we nuke ourselves. We talk too much. I think women want to talk. As you said, they want to open themselves up. They want you to open up. You, once you open up, mate, you can you can bet your bottom dollar you're going to say something they're not going to like, right? And they're not going to just blow it off and go, oh well, you know, I guess you know everyone's human. No, no, no. They'll take that as a bang straight off red flag. Gone. You're gone. Right. It, like happened, happened countless times to me guys I didn't come like this I didn't come like this out of the box I went through years and years and years of going through this bullshit with women trying to pick them up and all that sort of stuff you know on dating apps and uh, dating websites and even in person at times right you, you, you talk too much you kill it like I said in fantasy land 
even if you are a player, even if you do pull chicks and you do spin plates, you have to pretend that you don't. Yeah. Because it's a fantasy land. They want the bad boy, but in their mind, they want him to be a good guy. <laughs> and that's what the fantasy is, is that they want the bad boy to be the good guy. So no. Oh, shit. What have I done there? I pressed this thing. All right. No, what what you do, right? What you do is not... You don't make out you're a good guy because that's lying. You let them know you're not a good guy, but don't tell them the bloody details about it. Like, oh, I'll, I'll let them say things. I'll work me out. Or they'll say, you know, oh, you're out doing this and that. And I'll say, hey, whatever you reckon. I'll say, oh, I'll say things like, oh, if you think so. I don't know. Or I'll say a joke. Oh, I'm offended you think that about me. Whatever. I wouldn't be like, yeah, I do this and I had sex with 400 women last year. Or I wouldn't say anything like that. Don't do that. Don't do that, guys. Let them let them know, right? Let them know. Let them fantasize. They think that maybe they can change you. They do like that. They're like a fixer upper. They're like a wounded deer, right? They, they, someone they know. They say, oh well, he must have, um, you know, he must have had a heart. He's heartbroken, and that's why he's acting like this. But I can nurture him. A lot of them will work like that. Don't tell them too much. Don't kill the mystery. Um, that's what I sound like this uh, gentleman has gone and done, and probably learning the hard way still. All right, guys, we're always learning, so it's no judgment. We're always learning every day um, about women as men, right? What are the main things we talk about in life? Uh, problems with women and uh, problems with money or business. That's all. We, that's, they're, they're, they're the main things we talk about, right? All right, uh, generally, right? conversations with other men, how to make money, how to get chicks, or problems with women and wives and whatever, right? We all don't come out the box knowing everything. We all learn as men as we go through. And so why, this is why this channel exists. We, we're sharing information. I'm sharing other guys' opinions as well. We're using these videos as talking points. Um, and guys are putting information uh, in the comments. So we've got this community going. I'm really appreciating it, guys. So continue to contribute. Put comments in. Uh, share the videos. Let's get them out there. And guys, if you have stories you want to tell me, send them over to gmanspeakstv at gmail.com. I do run a series where I do read out subscriber stories as well. So I really appreciate that. And guys, sharing their experiences with the community. Once again, thanks a lot for watching 22 Minutes, guys. Have a fantastic day. See you in the next one.